Hi and welcome back to Australian 4 by 4 Adventures. I'm here with Steve. Steve, you want to walk through camp for you? That is so going in. <laughs> hey going guys, Steve from Australian 4 by 4 Adventures again. Something a bit different this time. We're going on another trip up to uh, up around Mansfield Way. Packed all the car, packed the van, got it all ready to go, and bloody started raining on me. Which is, I hate camping in the rain. It's, I'll do it, but I hate doing it. Um, yeah, there's something different. I don't know if you guys know Peter, Peter McKinnon or not, but he got this app, downloaded it. Essentially, it teleports you from here to there, so I don't have to drive in the rain, and I'm hoping this is like set up when I get there, because then I don't have to do it. That'll be cool. Um, all right, so we can start the app up and jump in. All right, it was pretty simple. You just basically press Press on the map where you want to go, and press go, and you're there. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. Ah. Um. Something, something didn't work. I don't know. What the? Oh. Holy sh! Oh. Oh, that's... So apparently it's still wet here as well, rained overnight. Um, that's pretty freaking cool. I want to like do that again. So let's go have a look somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. How the hell they end up here? Oh, we're back again. All right, so this whole episode is about different camp setups. So we've got a camper van, camp, an upmarket camper trailer, a budget camper trailer, a homemade camper trailer, and a swag swag setup. So I'd quickly run, run you through different ways to camp and see how we go. Let's go have a look at them. Right, start the first one. So the upmarket camper trailer, not really upmarket camper, it's a camper van really, so it's a Jayco Flamingo camper van, which is actually mine, this is mine and the wife's, um, yeah, we like it, it takes us about half an hour from the point where we pull up to having it fully set up, so, yeah, we've done a couple of things to it on it, we've got obviously the awning on there, we've got a, uh, a couple of solar panels on the roof, we've got bigger tyres on there, so it just sort of uh, sits a bit higher, a bit more ground clearance, uh, bed ends and all sorts of stuff on it, um, you probably see some of the footage I'm putting up right now, behind it. Uh, they're pretty budget overall. I think, I think they're these days worth about 20, 25, 30 grand, maybe depends on the model you get and what options you go for. Um, we find it good because we're off the ground. We're out of the um, out of the water. It means we can set up in in, in anything pretty much, and just we're we're good. Uh, let's have a look inside. So it's actually like really freaking messy in here, but that's because we're actually camping. So cooktop, fridge, microwave, uh, microwave was in there, generator for. We don't have any kids, so other end of the van there is just used for storage for us. It's nice and easy. Rubbish bag, gotta keep rubbish. Um, bit of everything. There, yeah, that's our um, that's our setup. It's pretty basic. Well, it's not really actually. It's not basic at all. This is this is our our flash version of it when the wife comes. Uh, I quite like it. It's pretty comfy. It's a little bit colder than just the swag though because it's such a big air mass of space to, to try and heat up. We do have a little gas heater that we put in here occasionally on the really cold days. Generally, we've got like two or three sleeping bags, so we're pretty warm. But um, uh, I think there's three, uh, two 120 amp hour deep cycle batteries, so there's plenty of power for us. As we've got the generator as well, so there's tons of tons of power that way. Um, Three-way gas fridge, so elect uh, 12 volt, 240, and gas for the fridge. So uh, generally, when we're camping, it's always on gas, so always always plenty of gas that way. Uh, there's a stereo, front boot full storage, twin 120 solar uh, watt solar panels on the roof there, so heaps of uh, heaps of power. Uh, electric sink, as in tap. Think of the word. Uh, 
yeah, it's pretty good. Right, so that was my camper trailer. Um, the reason we bought the camper trailer this weekend and not swagged it was mainly because of this little munchkin over here. No, no, not, not that one. This one here. So this is Wilma. Wilma's our new little, um, she's a 10 week old Jack Russell puppy. She's very cute. Look at that little, oh, you're giving your <laughs> the camera, aren't you good? Money shot. Money shot right there. This is Leanne, by the way. Don't worry about her, she doesn't matter. This one right here, that's the one that matters. I'm gonna get in trouble for that later. <laughs> so anyway, this is Wilma. Bam Bam's around somewhere. He's probably sleeping actually, so he doesn't care. All right, cool, let's have a look at the next one. Right, so here with Greg now. So this is his camper, he's got the Wild Boar Camper. What year is it again? Uh, 2017. 2017 Wild yep. Boar Camper. Um, top three reasons why you bought this camper. Uh, firstly, a lot of these campers obviously are all Chinese built. Um, the guys up in Queensland, uh, Paul from up at Wild Boar, they strip everything out, replace all the electrical, all the plumbing, everything like that. So it's, really good. It, it's great. If something happens, you can replace it in Australia on the track. A lot of the other Chinese built ones, yeah, yeah. we've been told that it's too bad. You can't mm. get a lot of the fittings, a lot of the plumbing sizes are all different. Um, also, talking to Paul, the guy from Wild Boar, just what he does before you sell it, before you buy them, He's after sale service, nothing's too much. Um, just good out. Australian just service. Just good, a good bloke, yeah. yeah. Um, what you want, he customises them as you want them to do, as, as you want them to be, I should say. Yep. Um, happy with that, and just, we looked at a lot of them, and just the quality of it. Yep. Uh, like inside, you'll see if you come inside, yep. the, it's not ply inside, we'll it's, all, it's all metal, it's everything's inside, it's just, yeah, we're just happy with it, yep. compared to a lot of the others. Okay. And didn't hear any bad stories. We jumped on Facebook and looked at a lot of onlines. And Which is unusual because pretty much you jump on anything these days and something's got a bad story about it somewhere. Yeah, other brands we read a lot of bad reports. Yeah. These we didn't hear anything bad, so we're wrapped. Bonus. Pricing wise is about average? About average, yeah. yeah, yeah the, for, for this style of camper? For this style, yeah. The mid to high 20s, yep. So, which was comparative with pretty much everything else we looked at. Yep. Yeah. Bonus. So accessories that come with it as well? Uh, you get with this little porta potty, hot water unit. Mm, porta potty. Um, Keeps wife happy. Very true. Uh, like actual toilet tent and stuff like that. Like a big pop up toilet tent that comes with it. Yep. Not that we got it up today because we're only camping a short yep. period of time. Yep. But you do have an awning, a 2 metre and a 2.7 metre so to quite, come out. It's quite big. Yeah, all walls as well, a bucket floor, a skirt, yep. everything that you can <laughs> possibly want. Greg wears a skirt. I like wearing skirts, it's okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, like with this one, they come with two spare wheels, but you can also get a toolbox for the back, which I did, yep. which is for me not carrying tools, but when we're bush yep. camping, where we can put the empty stubbies. So yep. you can take them home. Uh, see, take your rubbish home, people. It's yeah. important. So it's cool. a lot easier to uh, yeah to get them home rather than having them roll around the back of the car. Fantastic. Yeah. So that's essentially the high-end camper trailer type setup. So we'll just have a quick squeeze inside. I'll show you some some awesome B-roll of, of that, and we'll move on to the uh, the budget camper trailer. Let's have a look. So camp number three. So this is the homemade camp trailer. So this is Dave. Um, this is his camp trailer as well. Essentially, he's done everything on this thing himself. He's he's done all the tan, all the boxes, all that sort of stuff. Um, but rather than me explain what he's done to it, I'll let Dave do it. So what have you done to the camp? How'd you buy it, and what have you done to it now? Well, generally, first it was um, the chassis and the and the main compartment of the camp trailer was was all as one piece but everything that was basically not attached was in the middle in pieces and had to be assembled. Uh, I assume that the company had possibly gone out of out of into liquidation or something and they were just liquidating their stock. So, so, so did you buy it as a trailer or as a camp trailer? No, it was it was as a trailer um, designed just, just, to become a camper trailer uh, with all yeah. the bits and pieces that had to be assembled. Yep. So. Cool. Um, 
I didn't actually know that. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a lot of it I've modified and, and made it to suit my purpose uh, rather than the way I believe it was intended to be as a normal camera trailer with fold out canvas and all the rooms and everything. Yeah. So, what, what would you call your purpose? I call, it, you set this up? I call it my hybrid. So, it's essentially a camera trailer base or trailer. Um, that I've then modified the top section of it and made it just a waterproof floor with some marine carpet on it and I've put a rooftop tent on top. Yep. Uh, my intention was something that I could potentially tow off-road, it has off-road abilities, light, but then very easy to set up. Yep. Um, I don't have a family as such that I go camping with, it's myself and maybe someone else at, yeah. the, at the very most. This thing's pretty quick, isn't it? Like, by the time, oh, from yeah. the point of when you pull up to when you're fully set up, just for the camper trailer, how long are you ready? Yeah, if it was just something you were stopping for the evening and wanted to go to sleep and then continue on, say you were touring in the state, you just pull up and you could almost just flip it over and, and put the uh, put these little stands in to hold the windows yeah. open and you could climb straight into it. Mattress and everything is all yeah. incorporated in the rooftop tent. Yeah. And it's very quick and it is also very waterproof and there's nothing hard to pack it up either. Yeah. It's essentially you just fold it back over and put the cover over it. Wet or dry, doesn't matter. And there's no, no, nothing difficult yeah. to pack up. So essentially it's just a, a, a trailer with a, with, a, with a flat platform on it and you put a rooftop channel That's on right, That's yes. That's essentially the base to it. Yes. It's got a big box on the front there for um, bat batteries and charging. Yeah, that's right. So the toolbox tools on the front's and, yep. got my fridge in it. So I do have a full yeah. fridge yep. and, a, and a deep cycle battery with a DC to DC charge system that runs through an Anderson plug, plugs into my car as a normal setup does. Yeah. Hey, top three reasons why this is ideal for you over something like maybe Greg's or mine or, or a swag. Yeah, yeah. So, first of all, as we've seen in previous videos, I didn't want to do what Greg did <laughs> and buy something that takes and an hour to set up so with all the canvases and Greg stuff. Greg famously took about an hour and a half to set up his awning on his camper on the last trip. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so uh, my intention is to do a little bit of bit, a bit more touring, but I want to do it as easy and as light as possible. I don't like stuffing around, to be honest. So yeah. I want to quick, be able to, quick and easy to make it easy. That's to, right. To travel into state if I need to, even if it's raining heavily or something, I can just fold over and climb in, yep. and then in the morning, fold it back yep. and get in the car and off I go. Yep. Uh, and, you know, I can set up gazebos and everything if I want to stay uh, overnight or a couple of days a yeah. bit more elaborate yeah. setup yeah. or but if the weather's really bad that's right essentially I wanted something that could be set up very easily very quickly without all the poles and canvases and yeah. that with I just don't like the idea of especially by myself yeah. packing up a whole lot of canvas that's potentially very wet and then have to unpack it to dry it all up again yeah. it's gonna be set up very easily get in sleep fold it over and off you go again in the yep. morning awesome. so, so so do you take this thing like super off-road or is it more just dirt roads it's, or it's a, a simple setup which to me is what works because it's just got the solid elco style axle with the electric trailer brakes on it nothing really to go wrong there super heavy duty sort of thing i mean the the body of it that if it lasts a few years for the price that i've paid for it it's, it's great but yep. um I can drag it anywhere with, a, with my modified four-wheel drive especially, I can drag it everywhere. Yeah. Pretty much anywhere your car goes. This can go with me, yeah. yeah, without having to worry. That's the second most important thing about... Do you know what it weighs? Uh, it's um, only 800 kilos or something, yeah. That's light. So, so without the tools in it. <laughs> but uh, essentially, yeah, my second most important thing that I was looking for in a camera trailer was... I didn't want to fork out the money and the effort into something that I couldn't take everywhere. Yep. If I if I wanted to put the effort into it, I wanted to be able to take it everywhere. Yeah, it's fair. Not to... leave it at home half the time. Yep. So, which, is, which is a problem that I've got with mine. I find that it's, it that's right. sort of just a nice dirt road or something to get in there. It's too difficult yep. to try and get in. I'm worried about breaking it, so I just I just swag it for those trips. That's right. So yeah. that's the you know one that's very easy to set up. No canvases and all all the garbage that takes so long and so tiresome to pack up and that. Two, it is very light, I can take it anywhere. I'm not restricted to where I'm gonna go camping because of my camper trailer. Yeah. Um, and three, it was very, very cheap. I've just yeah. bought a King's uh, rooftop tent to put yeah. on top with the, um, I've put um, the, the steel frame with a, with a marine ply floor and some and some marine carpet on yeah. top. And it's very easily set up. I'm actually surprised at how 
good a quality the um the king's rooftop tent is i, I thought they were going to be a bit cheap and nasty yeah looking at it a bit closer it's, it's actually pretty damn good i've done my research before buying one of these and um i've looked at some of the other brands and they some of them it was impossible to find a difference yeah. so it, we could assume that maybe they are to a lot of them could be made in the same factory just with different branding on them but yeah, um, maybe. I've spoken to people that had them before I bought one and said that they, they were very happy with it and never got wet so yeah. I wanted something that I'm not going to get wet well thanks for sharing that with us well um obviously some of the stuff would have been playing over the top of when we we're talking here um on that just enjoy sort of having a closer look at what Dave's setup is and um if you've got any questions chuck them in the comments below and I'm sure uh, D Dave's on YouTube as well. He might even be able to answer himself direct on the YouTube page. Sure. And um, we'll see how we go. So, enjoy. Right, so camp setup number four. So this one is the, the budget end side of a, of a commercial camper trailer. Um, so Greg obviously had the, the higher end one. Dave's got the, the, the homemade version. This is just a, bu a budget version of the camper trailer. So this is Chris, Megan, and little Gemma. Wave. Hi, Hi Gemma. Hello. Good girl. Yeah. over here. <laughs> Good girl. Um, so this is the camper trailer. So why did you guys get this one and what's your favourite thing about it? Uh, so we bought this one second hand. Uh, it's a bit, it was cheap basically. It was on, yep. was uh, within the budget. Yep. Um, Good, for, and, Good for family camping. Yeah. And we were sort of setting up. We'd, we'd only done the swag thing and, yep. and, yep. and lugged around a big canvas tent as well. So um, this, sort of the next so this was this was sort of, yeah, a bit of an upgrade having a kitchen or a sort of a kitchen. Yep. It'd be uh, easier for setup, you know, if it's raining, Essie. we're not having to worry about yep. canvas and bits yeah. and pieces with a toddler. Yep. She yep. picks us on our toes. Well, for, so. First night here, uh, for this weekend, it was, it, was, <laughs> it was absolutely bucketing down the whole, yeah. the whole night, and was. Gemma was fine. She was yeah. out of the way, playing, playing inside there. Yeah. So it's pretty good that way. Um, it's easy to tow, all that sort of stuff, pretty, pretty good yeah, stuff. Yeah. Or? yeah, yeah, it's easy to tow. I mean, you, you, you notice the difference when you're only driving a three litre. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, it's yeah, it's got. We can't all drive V8s. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, but it's got the water tank on, and it's got um, gas bottles and and everything on it. So yep. It's, um, yep. So you've got all the creature comforts that you don't necessarily have w when you're in a swag or a tent. That's it. That's yeah. Really yeah. Awesome. yeah. Yeah. Undercover. And the zip on awning works works well. So. Yep. Yep. So do you leave the awning on all the time, or is it so you have to put it on and no, off? No, we've got to zip it on and off each time. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yep. once we set up, we it doesn't leave take it on long. The whole time, yeah. we, have, how long is it? Is it Twenty minutes, half an hour? Pull yeah, up about that. Yeah, the first couple of times obviously a bit longer, but, um, but yeah, yeah about, about 20 times. minutes to to do it when try, you're try and minimize ready the domestics. to go. And yeah, you can do it. <laughs> you can do it on your own as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah, sort of events, just with, yeah. with Gemma. Around. I mean, you can look after Gemma and Chris and stuff, and sort yeah, of works out. Having a chat. <laughs> Want more cheese? <laughs> um, so your favourite things would be having, well, I having mean, a kitchen. Just having having the kitchen's a, a big convenience. Having kitchen, having water on tap. Clothes. And, yep. Yep. And yeah, not sleeping on the ground's always As good. It's a bed off yeah. bed off the ground would be yeah, nice. Yeah. So obviously when we rocked up, there's lots of puddles everywhere around here. So yeah, absolutely. Sort of be up up and about and, and off, off the floor. Yeah, yeah fantastic. Yep. Beautiful. So you guys will have this for a couple of years and then maybe upgrade or sort of stick with yeah, something. Yeah, that's what yeah. we're thinking. We'll probably upgrade soon. Yep. But, fantastic. Yeah. All right, we'll, yeah. we'll have a quick squeeze around and go to the next one. Sounds, Sounds good. good. Awesome. Hi and welcome back to Australian 4x4 Adventures. I'm here with Steve. Steve, you want to walk through camp for you? That is so going in. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> uh, So number five, so this is probably the most basic camp setup. So Kate and Jeremy are relatively new to camping over the last couple of years or so. Um, so they basically just got a gazebo for the common room. It's actually kind of cool, I like this gazebo. And a swag table, basic uh, cooker setup. Fairly basic overall, but probably one of my most favourite setups. And Jeremy's just run away, but he's about to come straight back in right now. <laughs> and there he is. Um, so, why did you pick this swag? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Do you like a new swag? Happy this? Happy the awning? Awning's great. Awning's great. Swag was good until Steve bought a better one, and now he likes my swag. I got the Darchy DD. Good swag. Still a good swag, so it's got a hole in the middle which goes on the inside, and you got to do something. Try and hold in there. Fair uh, enough. But uh, it's all good. It's but warm. It's warm. Yeah. 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 Bonus. So it fits you and the missus in there nicely. A big, it's the um, she will see this. Be careful. Oh, nicely. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. what. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's, that's that's warm by the way. Still. Yeah. She likes the camera. Okay. Pocket size. So you guys are slowly up, slowly sort of adding stuff to your to your repertoire. Yeah. 
each time you come I notice you've got something different every single time. Yeah, you work out what you need and put that in the pile and off it goes. Just keep, just keep adding things. Yeah. yeah. One more spin the video again. Um, three three favourite things in your camp setup. Morning. Morning. It's a subject if you get wet. This is a bonus. Uh, swag. Some sleep in. And um, that's pretty much it. So it fits everything else. And maybe a stove so you can eat uh, stuff. Yeah. It, eating's good. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Esky? So it's full. Esky. Let's get the esky. We don't need the esky. It's no, pretty no. cold. Yeah, it's cold enough. So. Yeah. Okay. And just, just so everyone as well, Jeremy recently actually bought a full drive. He's been talking about it for probably the last five or six years maybe now. So he's finally got one. <laughs> So um, this is his new car. I reckon you'll slowly see it getting upgraded over time because I'm a really bad influence on people who buy four-wheel drives. So um, you'll watch this space. <laughs> uh, so that's all the campsites, guys. So we've got the um, Greg farting over there in the corner. That is so going to make it in. <laughs> Just for Greg. Um, so we obviously had the camper trailer set up. Also camp camper van set up, which was mine. Greg's upmarket camper trailer. Um, Chris and Megan's a budget camper trailer. Dave's homemade camper trailer and Kate and Jeremy's uh, sw swag setup, which is sort of the sort of where, where I go when I'm just on the basic trip. So I still prefer this setup overall because it's easy and it's quick and so much less hassle to go with it overall. But um, share your camp setups. Write them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out, guys, if you can. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good one. <laughs>